What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Witness Wednesdays. When we left off in the last episode, we had discovered that all four of these puzzles end up turning into environmental puzzles in their own right, which is kind of crazy. But the caveat to this is that you have to actually solve the puzzle on the ground in a certain way in order for you to be able to do it from this perspective up here. And I didn't do it on this one on the last episode because I couldn't figure it out. And I actually got a comment on my last video that mentioned basically I was really close and I only messed up on one spot. And if I fixed it, it would work. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Now, the other puzzles, I haven't quite figured out exactly how I'm supposed to be doing them. Um, so first of all, we're going to clear this okay so the thing this with this one is we have to start here and we go this way now the thing that we have to make sure we get these two dots but the thing I messed up for before was this guy was blocking the way so you actually go up this way and detour and then kind of do the rest the same way we did it the first time and it should work theoretically oh wait I messed it up hold on I think I messed it up dang it <laughs> I have to find a way to walk on here without doing more of the puzzle oh we didn't actually mess it up okay we're good um because it's gonna be this here Okay, we're good. And then we're gonna go uh, this way. Like a soul. And then it solves. Alright, so if that works, then we should be able to come up here. Yeah make ourselves dizzy and now if I did this right we can see that it's uninterrupted and we can actually go through boom the whole thing which is pretty darn cool now for this one over here the only real thing that I'm seeing that we probably can't do the same way is go around this pillar and go around this pillar. Everything else kind of looks like it'll work, but see, we get stopped there. So we have to go probably left here, right there. I'm not really sure. This one, kind of the same thing. I think it's pretty much going behind this guy. It's making it a problem. And for this one, we're going to have to go this way. I don't know how this is going to work, because I don't remember the criteria of the puzzle. But we're going to have to go that way. Because going under that arch, or not arch, that uh, scaffold thing is not really an option. And still keep it able to be solved from up there. Um, I think the actual panel for this one is back here. Okay, so we have the Tetris ones. That's what we're working with here. Okay, so theoretically, can I walk around this? I don't think I can. Oh, yes, I can. Um, well, I guess this is going to be solved anyway. So that's not. Oh, I can't walk there. Okay. So, Tetris blocks. I gotta think. These can be rotated, which is good. So if the dot's over here, and we don't want to go under that scaffold, then the only thing I can think of is we would have to go something like this. Maybe? Let's try that. Let's see if that works. So we need one, two, 
Or wait, hold on. Maybe that won't work. That still probably won't work. Because if we did... Oh, no, okay. Yeah, we might be able to do that. So one, two, three. So it should go... Like this. Oh, but this is a symmetry puzzle. I forgot. I forgot about that. Uh, this may still work. I'm not really sure at this point. I don't think they can be that close together because it would mean they'd overlap. Yeah, so it's taken it as they're overlapping. Darn. Alright. Oh, and it's not even including the blocks. I forgot you had to include the blocks. Alright, give me just a minute. Okay, so this is an interesting dilemma that I don't know if it will work or not because there's no starting point on these maps. There is over here and over there, but there isn't on the actual grid. So I don't know if we can use that to our advantage or not. So what I'm going to do is we're going to try this way. We're not going to start at the beginning. We're actually going to start like this. And see if this works. Now, now that we have that... I don't know if this will work because what I was thinking, and you'll see it here, is that's the puzzle. Like, that's the... Um, that, that would solve in terms of shape. But once I do this... Yep, see, then it goes right back under that scaffold again. So... Yeah, I'm not sure how to get under that scaffold. Because the... The block, you can see it right here, where it went under the scaffold, is the block you need to incorporate in order to do that. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how that works. Okay, so here's an interesting one we're going to try. I think I figured it out. So... This is what I would call a um, an absence solution. And what I mean by that is normally you'd try and like, okay, I want to do this and like fill this in and then go. But this is actually like outline everything that's not the things and then it can work. And also it's using both of the symmetry to m shove the two together and it works. Now here's the funny thing. I was looking at this and I was like, well, this works for the puzzle, but this won't work for environmental because I'm going through here and I'm going through here, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm going to go under this guy. So I, I won't be able to do it from there. It dawned on me that's coming from this, this puzzle. We already solved that one. There's two solutions to this on the floor and there's two starting points. So there's actually two different environmental puzzles, if I'm right. I haven't gone up here and looked at it yet, though. Sorry for the dizziness. All right, uh, ha 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 ha! <laughs> Boom! So there's actually two solutions to the puzzle that we found, but you have to solve them both in order to get both of the environmental ones, because like this won't work. So you had to solve it the first way, or or whichever you preferred, but this is the solution for that one, and you'd have to go back and solve it the other way for you to do the other puzzle. So that's... that's pretty awesome. I didn't really think about that until I was looking at it going, well, this won't help me because I still can't do yada 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 yada, and then I was like, wait a minute, hold the phone. So that's pretty awesome. Now this one I'm nervous about. Because I, I remember having a hard enough time solving it before. Um, that Then trying to come up with a way to do it without going over this guy. And this guy. Everything else seems visible from the upper part. But I basically can't make this turn. And I can't make this turn. So give me a minute. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to work on this for a second. 
Okay, so I'll admit that as of right now, this one I don't get at all. There really only seems to be one solution to this puzzle. I'm not, you know, I'm fairly certain that there isn't, because otherwise, you know, the environmental puzzle would be possible from this angle. But I really, 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 really do not see another solution to this. So if you do it this way, it triggers. Yay, you, you got it. Woohoo! And like I said, because of the obstacles that they put in your way, like this broken glass, it, it limits what you can do. This tar one that you can't step on. I don't think you can step on it anyway. Um, you know, this thing that blocks you from going this way. And, and actually, you know what? Hold on. I don't know that it actually does. I'm not sure that it's not meant to screw with you. We're just going to step on these panels just willy-nilly. doesn't really matter. You can step on the black stain. And you can use that. Well, that opens up a whole new range of possibilities, believe it or not. So give me just a minute and I'm going to have to re-strategize. Okay, so I did actually find another solution, which is an interesting one, because it tells you you don't have to keep these paired. I thought we already kind of established that, but I wasn't 100% sure. Um, so really, you just have to keep them away from the other color. Now, what I found is I know what this black stuff is for, this tar. I thought originally it was to block your way, but then you can step on it. It's because it'll block your environmental path after you, I just tried it when you get over here this sticks it won't go so you can't use that path for the environmental now the only other way this solution would work the this corner is the key because it segments the rest of the white and the black right here so if you use this corner for something like you come down this way and then try and cut over you can't come back up and break them off I hope that's making sense. So this guy is going to end up being the key to most everything, but we're not going to be able to come through this way. So you may be wondering, well, how is this going to work then? What we're going to have to do is go up and around, and effectively we're going to have to come in and bring it around this way. Now, what you may be wondering is, because it's what I'm wondering, how do you do that without getting through here? The only way I can think to do it is by starting at the end, since we can step on this beforehand. Now, the only thing is, I don't know how to get here. I don't know how to get to the end part. So we're going to have to find our way back to the end so that then effectively we can start at the beginning. I think, if I'm right, I could be wrong would not be the first time. Um, I think it's this way. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to need to do is start here. We need to go out to there and then come down. This is going to separate the white. And then we're going to come up this way. Now here's the tricky part we got to step on this panel to light it up, but we can't step on that one. It'll break the puzzle. So now, I'm fairly sure, and if this works, this is one of the most complicated ways to solve this environmental puzzle. It's it, This is going to be crazy if this works. I have half a mind that it won't. But I'm pretty sure you have to do half the puzzle this way. Now, I could be wrong. They This might be the solution, and there might be an easier way to do it. But this is how I see it. So, take with it what you will. Okay, so now from this point, we basically need to start over here, come up this way, cut this off, and then go up and over and meet in the middle. So, we're going to come up this way, go around here, and meet in the middle. All right, so now this is a solved puzzle, right? It works. Seriously, if this if this is actually legit, this is that's crazy that you have to go at it from two different angles. 
But it, it's it's one of those illusionary things. Um, assuming I'm right. All this is based on the assumption that I'm right. And that's the original intended way that you solve this. Because if it is, then it's all about basically thinking outside the box of the puzzle. Puzzles usually start with the circle, but why can't you start at the end since these are touch puzzles where you step on them? That's ridiculous. That's awesome and ridiculous at the same time. All right, so we have one more to tackle. So yeah, that's, that's crazy that you actually have to think of it like, not only is this a solution for the puzzle, but you also have to think of it as this is how you, wait, where does that go? Oh, I think that leads to a different entrance. Um, this is how you not only solve the puzzle, this is also how you have to do things in order to keep the visible air area in the bright place. And then you have to th think about how to step on the plates in order to get around some of the obstacles. It's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It was the same thing with this one, actually, that we realized that if you stepped here, it activated the puzzle. But again... I can't use this solution because, um, well, actually, I'll have to look at my screenshots because I took some screenshots of these to see kind of what obstacles were what and what I needed to be aware of. I don't know if this one's actually in the way from up there. I think it is, but it may not be. It might just be that one. I'm not really sure. So let me kind of tinker with this a minute. Okay. Um, I have a theory, but it's a very, very broken theory. As far as I'm not sure if it will work. Okay, see, here's one of those, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. here's one of those things. Here's one of the things. You have to do this backwards for this to work. So, here's another interesting aspect to these puzzles, in case anyone already wasn't amazed enough as I am with how these puzzles work. You can't do the environmental ones before the puzzles are solved, because some of them have to go through the entrance. So there really are two different solutions. There's the environmental solution, and then there's the actual solution. So what I was going to say is this right here, that third block, that's this main obstacle. That's the major obstacle. And I don't think this one's going to be a problem. I don't think. So, and that one is over here. Now, you have to step on this side of that line in order for this to work, right? Otherwise, this one won't be able to be activated. You can't come at it from this way, I don't think. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. And this one, this is the obstacle you have to get around. So, my solution is, if this is the starting point, which it is, well, it's the starting point of the puzzle. You would go here, come up, come down, and this is what we talked about earlier. It's an it's a, a um, uh, absence puzzle where you leave out the, the thing. And then you're going to come up here and cut across and do this. Now, there's two problems with this puzzle or with this solution. If I'm right and I can't come at it from this way, how do I get this line segment to light up? Is the first problem. The other problem is how do I start over here and leave this out if we have to step out right here, which forces a line along the bottom? Right? I can't just step out because the starting point's over there. How do we do this? We do the same thing we did on this one. You have to start at the end, if I'm right. I don't know that I am, so bear with me, but this is a fairly solid attempt at this theory. Even if it doesn't work, I still feel like I'm close. Alright, so if I'm right, we have to start at the end here. Walk our way around. We're going to trigger this, if we can. Now here's where things get a little bit weird. I'm not a hundred. Yep. Okay. I got it. Nope. I can't get off there. Dang it. Oh, here we go. So we're going to step across and switch. I know this is, I hope that everyone is being as amazed as I am. Not that I'm figuring this out, that this is how you would 
do things in this game. Okay. So, then we come down here. I really hope I'm not messing this up. Go up for the one node. We come down. And... And it solves! You actually have to start from the end. How crazy is that? That is nuts to me. That's just... There's so many layers to this. That's what blows my mind about all this crap. Is how many intricate levels you have to look at in order for this all to work out. Yep. There she blows. Look at that pretty environmental puzzle. Bam! That's just nuts. So, first of all... You have to think like a puzzle, and then walk on the panels the first time you're doing it. And that was hard enough. If you go back and watch my other videos, you'll know. I was frustrated with these. Then you have to look at it as, well, there's obstacles in the way for the environmental ones. How do I do this? Then you have to solve for the environmental puzzle. Then you have to figure out how to step on the panels in the right way in order to get it to work. And when you start realizing that you can't, what if you have to start from a different starting point? Then you also have to take into account you can't even do these puzzles because they require you to start at the end and come through some of these doors to get to the end point, which you can't have done if you hadn't already solved them in the first place. That just blows my mind. That literally just, just messes with my brain. I think we did this one already, right? Yeah, okay, we did that one. Is there any others we can see from here? There's got to be. There's got to be something, because we have a lot of environmental puzzles, I think, on this totem over here that are probably from this area. Mm. And see, I'm really starting to get paranoid. Like, this kind of stuff, it looks like there's one in there somewhere from the right angle, maybe. I don't know. Probably just grasping at straws at this point. But there's just some spots that really look like they, they should be a puzzle. I mean, granted, there was a lot of them over here buried in these mazes and things. But from different angles and perspectives, you never know what you're going to find. Oh, I also didn't think about looking at the clouds from up here. I wonder if there's anything up here we can use. And somebody told me or at least made a comment or something, that this gray cloud, they didn't. They said they didn't want to spoil it, which I appreciate, but they made a comment about the only way that's useful is when it's not gray or something, which I'm very curious about. That's a, that's a very abstract and fun, it's, a, it's an intriguing clue, but it makes me wonder, like, do I have to put this against the mountains so that it's gray and nothing's gray, you know, stuff like that? Or is it more, um, you know, uh, more about, like, if, if, if you get to a certain angle or color palette or something, that then it stops being gray from that point of view? You know, if you move around a certain way, is under it not gray? You know, stuff like that. So there's some interesting different dilemmas there. Let's take a look and see what we've got on our totem at this point, because we've actually got quite a few from those. Mind-blowing, mind though. Okay, so this is the, the hedge maze. This is the road. So we got this side done. These are the squares. And we got those done. Proud of myself. These two must be on the boat or around the the uh, the cliff, I guess, coast, because this one was done with the coast, and this is going to end up being kind of in the same ballpark, it looks like. Uh, this one I'm curious about because basically they look almost identical, so I'm guessing that was also on the rope. But I don't know where those two are. I haven't seen those. These two look more like they're in the tree. Yeah, they're more in the tree forest, it looks like. And these two we found on the beach in the tree area, but there's one that I missed somewhere. But I'm happy about this. We're making progress. Stuff and things are happening. Um, 
Yeah, really my only issue, I don't think we'll have too much of a problem figuring out environmental puzzles as much as finding them. I think finding them is going to be far more difficult for me than, like once I know this is where the puzzle is, you know, you get the little particle effect and you're like, okay, there's a puzzle here. I don't think it'll take me too, too long to figure them out. But unless I get the little bubble thing saying, yep, this is a puzzle. Um, it's stuff like this kind of bothers me. Like, why is there another... I, I'm pretty sure you would take this and it goes this way and then to the left. But why? That doesn't do anything. That doesn't solve anything. You end up in the same place. So why are there two different ways of doing this? It makes me wonder if in one of those ways there's an environmental puzzle. Like, that kind of looks like it could be a thing. From far enough away or something. Or in the water... Actually, while we're sitting here, let's just see if we can't do that. Um, let's see, these are paired colors. So... That won't work. Oh, what about that? That should work. I do like how it keeps all this puzzle solved. That's very convenient. And instead of going that way, we want to go this way. Actually, we could go further out. But yeah, see what I mean? It's fishy. Why can you make two different platforms like this? What does what does this solve? Oh, you can actually go this way too. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Feels awfully fishy to me. Okay, we did that one because it's lit, it's lit up. We did that one over there. Hmm. I'm not seeing the last of that puzzle set, though, and that kind of bothers me a bit. Oh, wait a minute. See, like that? Looks like a thing. That looks like a thing. A lot like a thing. Like, if it wasn't for just a few of those leaves, it probably would be. So, it's stuff like that. Because there's no... I don't think there's any audio clip out here. So then it's like, what is this doing out here? Why are, why are we here? What is this? What does this serve? It's got to be a point of view or something, right? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. Um, in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And I will see you all next time. Peace.